Right, fuckers, welcome back to Son of Scotland 90 and it is the Football Manager 2017 Old Farm Revival. It's episode 10 and it's uh, we're going to be playing with Rangers this test time out. I know the last few episodes have been pretty Celtic heavy. Well, don't panic Rangers fans because you're, you're getting a live game this episode and it's against the Sheep Aberdeen. Uh, you can kind of see the league table, both teams, I know it's early on in the season but both teams are underachieving so far, and I think they definitely like to be a lot closer to Celtic than they are. I mean, if Partick Thistle can be joint on 16 points after six games, I'm sure Aberdeen and Rangers probably think that they can do too. You can see Hearts here also, another team you'd expect to be higher up there, also underperform. But anyway, big game here for Aberdeen and Rangers, and you feel like whoever loses this is, you know, definitely the pressure will be on uh, either manager that loses this. Hopefully it's not us. And uh, let's, let's get stuck straight into the match here. A win here could move us up to fourth place. You can see Media, Durant, Fears, Rooney, Fred, yeah. yeah Warren's already. Uh, Orange, McGinn McGinnins doesn't have fighting spirit, so yeah, we kind of did uh, slag the Aberdeen manager. We'll see how he gets, uh, we'll see how he responds to that. And here is our team. So Jordan Rossiter won't be making this game. He's injured, so he's going to have to sit this one out. Who will we bring in from? That's the main question here. Looks like John Terrell there looks like probably the best option to come in. Uh, but what would we play him as? We could play him as a... Uh, we've also got Heinemann as a deep line midfielder, so we don't necessarily want... We could just... Uh, no, a Roman playmaker. Roman playmaker, maybe. But we've also got fucking... I don't know, man. Just a central midfielder, I think. Unless we play someone else there. Because see, we've, we've already got Heinemann as the deep line play midfielder, so... We could bring in Jason Holt, he's not really match fit, but we could give him a chance. I mean, I don't know, perhaps. Is that what we should do? Um, a lot of our players aren't match fit to it. Nah, I think we'll give uh, Terrell the... We'll give Terrell the chance, man, and hopefully he can uh, do it proud there with Crank out front. Wagner. Uh, Lee Hodson's not going to be there. Clint Hill, is he going to be playing, probably? What's Clint Hill like? It's going to be Clint Hill and Danny Wilson as the two centre-backs. So yeah, basically that is the team we are going to be going with. Uh, Maitland Niles has done pretty well since we brought him in at, in the right mid. You know, he's kind of nailed that position down. He's becoming a starter for us. And um, yeah, it definitely looked like a good signing we got from Arsenal. Hopefully he can impress here against Aberdeen. Maybe get a goal. Maybe he could be the guy. He could be the difference that gets us the three points here. There you can see Aberdeen's team, they're going with uh, Lewis and Goals, Logan, O'Connor, Reynolds, Shinny as the back four, uh, McLean, some guy in midfield, I'm not quite sure who this is, Coppin Sinsinski or something, I don't know, you've got Johnny Hayes, you've got Ryan Christie who's on loan from Celtic, Neil McGinn and Adam Rooney up front, definitely you know, a strong 11 there from Aberdeen, is it stronger than ours? Mm, I don't know, it's pretty close. Aberdeen also got a good bench there, definitely. Definitely one of the top teams in uh, Scottish football. Definitely the second best team in Scottish football. Whether that's reflected in football manager, I don't quite think so. I think the Rangers have the better team here, but who knows. Um, I'm going to go with the media. I haven't been back. It's for ages. Rangers always think the media is against them, so <laughs> I'll go with that. Maybe I should go with counter attack. I don't know. But should we go with counter Uh, I think we'll go with counter attack. Aye, right, because Aberdeen will be. That's what we're going to go with counter attack. Hopefully, this gets the job done here. So, we'll see what happens. Match underway. And it's a throw in here. 42 minutes, 42 seconds in dangerous position. Tavernier plays it into John Terrell. And John Terrell with a goal early on. Great stuff there, man. In the first minute. It's his first goal of the season for Rangers. Brilliant play, apparently, from Tavernier. And that's just what we want it, man. But just two minutes later, Aberdeen with a free kick. It's a great challenge. Jeffrey Niles, can we counter again here? With Faghorn holding on to it. Can he play in Niles? He's... No, he's lost it. Fucking what a chance there, man. Niles made the run. Should have been played through. But Niles wins it back. Niles has had a great season for us so far, man. Really impressed with this kid. He's just absolutely done. Graham Shinney there, one of the best uh, right backs in Scotland. It's Terrell to Cranky or Faghorn. Great stuff. Off the bar, man. Logan, offside though. 
but Logan gave away a penalty there, but turns out Michael O'Halloran was offside. And there's Adam Rooney now getting offside, and another throw in down the right here for Rangers. Definitely playing well at the moment, being the better team, we're piling the pressure on. Hopefully get a second goal here. Would make it a bit more comfortable for us. Terrell in the middle of the field, sprays it out to O'Halloran, O'Halloran coming in. He gives it out to Wallace, so Wallace on the left. There's plenty of blue shots in the box, Faghorn to Terrell, and it's just wide, man. Faghorn could have had an a, a attempt at goal there with the header, but he decided to play it back there. And uh, maybe he should have went on his own. Ten minutes in, lots of chances here. Boys have started great, cannot deny them it. They've been great so far, hopefully we can keep it up. It's Christie on the edge of the box to Johnny Hayes. Hayes, oh no, it's a goal, and I think it's took a deflection, and that's very unlucky. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it didn't take a deflection. Hayes has scored it, we know that much. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it just went straight in. Maybe it was a good strike from Johnny Hayes, but looked offside to me. And I don't think Aberdeen deserved that, but after 20 minutes at Pataudry, it is 1-1. Disappointing there for sure. But we've picked up again with Heinemann. Heinemann to Nails, Nails. Can he get past? Oh, yeah, they've got two men on him. They know this kid's dangerous, it's Heinemann. Sprays it into Terrell, middle of the field, Terrell, lovely boo through ball to O'Halloran, O'Halloran there. Fucking, he's not just missed that, he's, it's a, it's a, almost closer to the corner flag there, you, you wonder how he can hit a, a shot that bad, man, it's really unbelievable there. Now it's Aberdeen, this game is back and forward, throw into Christie, Clint Hill with the clearance, O'Connor picks it up to Logan. Into the guy whose name I cannot really pronounce. He plays it to Christie. Christie into Hayes. Hayes takes a swing at it. Misses it. Heinemann. Tries to clear it. Only as far as Graham Shinney. And that is the end of that highlight. And been a good match so far, man. Probably settle for getting into half time at 1 1. Tell the lads are doing well. And hopefully, maybe go on into the second half and try and steal the winner. There you go. There's a the half time whistle. And it is 1 1. So, yeah. We're doing all right here. Let's um, be assertive. Um, keep going out there, and you still get the win today, I think. And if, I can't can't let Ferguson give the individual team talk for some reason. Um, I think we're going to stick with counter. Counter's doing all right, man. So. I'll leave it for a bit and then maybe if there's no change we'll make some substitutions and maybe I don't know we'll attack later into the match. Who knows here as the second half is underway. See John Terrell seems to be our best player at the moment with a seven point two rating, albeit that rating's heavily influenced on the goal he scored. Um McLean now, forty ninth minute free kick, plays it out to Shinny Shinny. And on now again it's a dangerous oh and it's one two one man Aberdeen there with the goal. Shinny into Nelm again. It's his second goal of the season. We were told to close him down. We were told we needed to mark him. He was causing his problems. And he's caused us a big motherfucking problem right there because he's got the goal that makes it 2 1. And uh, looks like Clint Hill's. Clint Hill here's injured. And it looks like we're going to have to make a substitution here. This Things are not going well now. Things are turning to shit. We're going to have to bring on Philip Sendros here or Rob Kearney. I think we'll bring on Senderos. Or we'll bring on Rob Kearn. We'll bring on Rob Kearn. Fuck it. He's not match fit, but got to do something. And maybe for a striker, I might bring on Kenny Muller. I'm going to bring, yeah, I'm going to bring on Kenny Muller. Faghorn's not a good game. He's looking frustrated. Maybe bring on Kenny. We can make something happen. I think we're going to go attacking here. I need to go for it. Let's just. Cannot afford to get beat here. I'll probably take the draw now if he offered me it. <laughs> But obviously after 47 seconds, I wasn't going to take it, you know, we're, we're one nil up, we're looking good. Albeit things have changed now here, Aberdeen seem to be on the ascendancy and all we can do now is just hopefully hold on here, try and snatch a goal and hold out for a 2-2 draw. Not a lot happening here, going to have to make a final substitution. Kenny Miller's just been caught offside and uh, who are we going to bring on here, look at this, fucking... The match sharpness is just absolute diabolical for all these guys. Going to bring on Jason Holt, hopefully, for Nico Cranker. And uh, we'll 
give us individual team talk. Um, passionate, come on. I have faith in you to make a difference. Hopefully that works. We're going to see. With 17 minutes to go, I mean, we need something. We need it fast. With things as they are at the moment, this is going to see us stay in uh, sixth position. It's not ideal. Aberdeen will move up to fourth place with this win. Ball's been headed a bit like ping pong at the moment. It's fallen to Wilson. Danny Wilson, good interception there. Could be crucial. It's Kieran to Toral. Toral over the top to Kenny. He's not really got the legs these days to chase them out to Niles. Niles, can he play through Tavenier on the overlap? He, he, no, he crosses it straight into Kenny Muller. And what a goal! It's big Kenny. King Kenny there, the goal scoring machine. Has done it, man. Kenny Muller with the goal so late in the game with four minutes to go. And. We'll take that. If we can get a draw here, we'll definitely take it. Kenny Muller there coming on and uh, making the difference. And I'm going defensive against Aberdeen. That may be feud is negative, but fuck it. I've got to make sure we get something out of this. It's a game that I really don't want to lose. Nails there. Get, Maitland Nails are getting an assist. Great assist from him. He's just probably our best player at the moment. Tavernier. Last kick of the game. Oh, and... Kieran there, the sub there, the centre back that we substituted on to shore up the defence to come on for the injured Clint Hill. Nearly won us the game, but not quite, and it's going to be just a draw for us. But you know we played well there, man. There's, I can't deny it. I'm happy with that performance. We didn't win, but the the kids played well, man, and I'm not going to be too angry or shit like that because, like Aberdeen, Petodre. Difficult place to go. We went there. We played well. We got a draw. I mean, I'll take that. That draw leaves us in ninth. Albeit we played a game more than a few teams, so we could uh, we could fall. I say, and that leaves us in sixth. We've got nine points. We could obviously fall down below a bit, but who knows? They're Ross County haven't even won a game yet, so it's, things are not looking good for them. You can see next up the next game, and we're going to play this episode. Huge double header this game, or or do I leave it for next episode? I don't know, guys. What do you want? Do you want the? Do you want that next episode or what? Do you want it this episode? Fuck, I don't know. Um, we could play it like it's up to you guys. Why I play it? We'll play it. Aye, right, alright then. We'll play it. Fuck it, why not? <laughs> uh, Honours Eden at Pataudry. Clint Hill. Looks like he's going to be out for nearly a month. Post-match press conference. We'll go to this. Yeah, we did deserve something from that. Yep, King Kenny, they're getting the goal. Nail him again. Ah, oh god. So we'll try our best to get by with it, big Clint Hill. And uh, we we'll, don't know how Hamilton are taking on St. Johnson. Not quite sure how that one will go. But Hamilton currently sitting in fourth place, so they appear to be doing all right this season in the league. There you can see the Scottish Premier League team of the week. And we do have some old firm players in it. We've got Kenny Miller up front there for Rangers, who got a... Fatal goal, he got the equaliser in the 2-2 draw against Aberdeen. And then centre-back position, we've got Effie Ambrose, who has uh, been great for us this season. And currently, he is the highest rated player in the actual league. So, statistically, Ambrose is the best player this season in the whole league, which is uh, pretty cool. So, well, guys, we've got some uh, injury updates here. I'm pleased to announce that Ranger squad is close to a clean bill of health. So, yeah, we've only got what, four people injured at the moment. Ross County have the most injuries and they're without a win, so <laughs> maybe those injuries are affecting them pretty badly, who knows. We've got some players here, available for first team, player recruitment. Don't have a clue what this is. Hot prospects to scout, so here's some kid here at Falkirk. Mm. See, we can't scout him because we don't have any scouts, so I don't really know what we're supposed to do here. Like, well, apply all. But we don't have any 
scouts like, so it's kind of it's kind of fucking difficult. But I'm actually on the lookout to try and get a scout, so hopefully we can sign somebody in the near future. I've had a chat with Harry Foster earlier today, and the player wants to discuss his lack of first team football. Ask Lee Wallace to intervene. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Well, yeah, hopefully. Everyone has noticed Harry Foster's unhappy in the moment. I'll have a word with him, see what I can do. So, you asked Lee Wallace to try and resolve Forrester's concerns with us. So, um, yeah, I'm not getting the job. Forrester now wants to discuss. <laughs> Fuck me, Forrester. I've got bigger, you know, issues to deal with here, man. We're sitting at, like, fifth in the league, and you want to talk about fucking playing minutes? Oh, we'll just speak to him. There we go. So, he's not happy. Well, fuck me, what can we do about it? I can't just put him in the team. You know what I mean? Because... He's not happy and he wants to start. I mean, everybody wants to start. Like, fuck, why should I give him some special privileges, you know? Like, fuck that. There's unhappy players here, and there's quite a lot of them at Rangers, actually. <laughs> fuck me. So here we go. It's uh, time now for the Champions League match, which is coming up now. Celtic player named in Team of the Week. Yep, Ambrose, Celtic injury table. See, we've still got Gordon, who could be out up to 34 months, definitely. And then we've got Keon Tierney, who's going out for another two months. Not good. Scott Sinclair should be fit. Is he um, set to face his former club, as is Boyata and as is Patrick Roberts? So, a few Celtic players here returning to Manchester to take on City. And also, in the other game, Olympiacos against Bayern. I do think in the end we're just going to be battling for third, so in my opinion it is crucial that Bayern Munich defeat Olympiacos. Hopefully they can do that. And it is now time for us to get into the match. So we're going to see what is the uh, Aguero, Nolito, saying De Bruyne, Gundogan, Fernandinho, Cliche, Otamendi, Company, Sable and Bravo. Like, very strong team there. And it's going to be difficult here to get anything against them, but we will give it our all, and hopefully it will be enough to do something. So here we go, we're going to, um, we'll stay fluid, but we're not going to go control, we're going to go. Um, where did we go? We'll go defensive, I think. No, actually, what we're just, I think we'll have it. Nah, I was going to say we'll have a new tactic, but there's no point in fucking... It's a bit too late now, just to introduce a whole new tactic. Well, I don't know if we'll play Rogic, so I think we want more defensive players here, so... What I'm going to do is we'll play... A boy can come in here. And he can be a... Defensive midfielder and defend, and... Bitten can be... What's he going to half back? On defend, um, just defend. It's a good. I can just defend here, and hopefully, <laughs> these changes can actually be enough to get us a job done. We've got Scott Sinclair. He'll come back. Surely come into the team. Over McLean. So we've got Scott McLean Sinclair. We'll play him as inside forward on support, I think. Forest on support. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's as good a team as we can put out. We don't want to go too attacking. We haven't really. We've got Sivachenko who could come on to the bench here. Uh, nah, we're, that's it. We're going to go with that. That's the team we're going to go with. Hopefully we can get the job done here. Come on, lads. A draw would be great. Anything more than a draw would be. Decision time for Scotland manager. Also, Hearts taking on bait on Thursday night. They lost their first Europe League game, so kind of crucial for them that they can pick up something. Oh, 
All right, so here we go. It is time for the actual match. Maybe we should have brought Armstrong and Sinclair down a bit. Who knows? Don't think there's any time to do it now, so fuck, we're just going to have to uh, stick with it or apply this at face to team. Um, let's give them a passionate team talk, I think. Let's give this one. Um, let's give the fans a good performance despite the odds being against us. I think, yeah, that's probably what we should go with. Let's start the match, see how we do. Out come the players, and it looks like. Is that Aguero there play, already playing for an injury? Kind of strange. So yeah, yes, Sergio Aguero starting this match and he's he's injured. I find that kind of strange. Let's look at the condition of these Man City players. I'm definitely well, they're not fit here, man. This could be a chance for us to actually to do some way to try and retain possession, make change. Right, apparently we're giving away too much possession here, so I don't know. I think we'll go on counter. At least if we're on counter we can actually try and attack a bit rather than just sit back constantly. Twenty two minutes in, still nil nil. See uh, Man City's had eight shots to our one, but the scoreline that matters, the scoreline I care about is the nil nil and let's see the latest scores. Is it Bayern Munich currently drawing? They were losing ID there put Olympiacos in front, but Bayern Munich got it back, and uh, Bayern Munich there, Robert Lewandowski getting a second goal, and that has put Bayern 2 1 up against Olympiacos. That's what we wanted. What we don't want is Man City to score, and at the moment they're coming forward with Gail Cliche. He plays it into Gundogan. It's injured Aguero. Got to close him down. He's played into saying, saying. We need to get the ball off him. This is not looking good. It's it. Came in, headed away though. Gundogan picking it back up, out to Sabaleta. Spreads it back to Gundogan, it's Kevin De Bruyne to Fernandinho, into De Bruyne, out wide to Gail Cliche, Man City looking dangerous here, there's Aguero, the injured, oh, it's, oh fuck, so went for a goal kick, I thought that was in, could have, it looked like Aguero was going to get the header, someone came in, got a rebound and it didn't go in either, so crazy stuff there, I honestly thought we were going to get beat, but we're doing alright, let me need to change the instructions here, I don't know. Yeah, we'll get stuck in, I think. Just put the tackles and try and rough them up a little bit. Just, it's going to do again to Nolito. Spread it out wide. The cliche is crossed in and it's a goal. It's, what? No. Fuck me saying heads it over. This is unbelievable. Man City there have missed really two good chances. Should have scored one of them. And then you can see Aguero down to 62% conditioning. Company 62 as well. The two central midfielders, Fernandinho and Gudugan down to 63 and 62 and Devin, there's De Bruyne going down and for this Man City team definitely not in good shape here. And it looks like they have made a quick substitution there, I think they've just substituted Aguero. That was a good, um, yeah, well, let's see here. Assertive. So please, where things are going, keep it up. Well, I think Man City just brought Aguero off there at the the end of that half. And I'm not surprised. Yeah, the butt on Gabriel Jesus. He's at um, 94%, so surprised they didn't start with him. Why they started with an injured Aguero, I'm not sure. There's Gundogan off for Fabio Delph, and yeah, I think they've realised that a lot of the players not really match fit, so they're shaking things up a wee bit, changing it. Here's De Bruyne, the same. We need, oh no, we need to mark him, that's not good. Sane shoots and he shoots over though. Brilliant stuff, it was a great run for him, just the end product not quite there. Nair Bitten doing the 64%, I might be looking to make a substitution of my own soon. He's down to 63 and don't know how much longer I'm going to leave it here. It's a yellow card for Isaguri as well. And uh... Offside, Moussa Dembele there, caught offside. Uh, 
have a quick look at the match stats here. See, uh, Man City have been dominant, no doubt about it, but we're still we're hanging in there. 25 minutes to go. I'm going to make a substitution here. Near Bitten needs to come off, and I'm going to just going to bring on fresh legs here, mate. Use all the substitutions at once. Here we'll bring on Tom Rogic for Near Bitten. We have Scott Sinclair a wee bit tired. We could uh, who could we bring on for him? Bring on James McLean. Who else? And one last sub. Who should it be an attacking minded sub? I think we'll bring off James Forrest and we'll bring on Patrick Roberts. And maybe we can get the job done. Maybe I don't know. Doing those wings. Keep it on the counter. Maybe change instructions. Instructions here. Um, I don't know. Clear ball to the flanks, maybe. Or maybe we'll just stick to this. You know what? We're doing all right. I don't think we really need to change anything here, so I'll just leave that for now. Oh, fuck's no, let me change. What the fuck? Fairly wide. Right, there you go. Six minutes to go. Can we hold on? <laughs> Be great if we could. What's the Bayern Munich score? Oh, it's 2 2, man. I want me because I've equalised. That's fucking bullshit. Dembele's been caught offside again. It's Man City team. The player's absolutely knackered. I'm going to go attacking in the last couple of minutes. Try and snatch a goal. Two minutes, add it on. 89th minute now. Doesn't look like Bayern Munich's going to get a winner. Can we get a winner? <coughs> it's a throw in here. In a good position for us, Roberts. To Gamboa. Roger can rest going to blow if we don't get this in. Abui, come on. Abui has to get it in. It's McLean. You have to turn Sabaleta here and make a run. Nah, he's lost the ball. And there you go. Full time at this Manchester City Stadium. And it's 0-0. I mean, I'm happy with that. It's a great, it's a great result. But there you go. So we'll get on that team talk. I'm happy with the performance, man. But I think what's disappointing is we managed to get a point against City, and then Olympiacos got a point against Bayern Munich. So it's just annoying me a wee bit. But I ah, fuck, man. I can't really be too harsh on the guys, can I? Man, we got a point. And it keeps us in a, well, actually in a, a good position. I'm talking about just finishing for Europa League, but as it stands, we're actually in a good position to possibly, you know, go through this league. I mean, Man City dominate it. You expect that. I'm not too bothered about the fact that they dominate it. Well, let's go and do the press conference now. Scott Arnold's been playing very well on loan at Rotherham. Scott's a fine player. I think we're approaching that. It was unfortunate to go up against Vincent. He played, yeah, he played really well. So there you go. So I think I've received 430k for the draw against Man City. And we'll have a ch quick check here at the. You can see the little results. Robert Lewandowski, look at that, scoring two goals in two minutes, but wasn't enough to deny Olympiacos a win. And where exactly does that? Let's have a quick look here at the league table. See their group A. All these teams just played the one game, and through the last four groups have played two games. You can see Real Madrid sitting top of their group, six points from six. Tottenham sitting in second, four points from six. FC Porto and Ludogorets. That's PSG doing pretty well. It's got four from four points from six. If like Madrid, they have two draws. I mean. Not a great start from them, but still four games left, plenty of time to turn it around. Shakhtar Donetsk, they just beat Juventus, great result for them. And then in the group that matters, Bayern Munich currently sitting on four, you'd expect them to top it, no problem. Uh, Man City, everyone's picked for second place, are currently last, but they do have Olympiacos coming out next. I expect them to take all three points in that game, and we have uh, Bayern Munich, so, you know, I'm not really expecting anything from that, so... Fuck, it is what it is, guys. But, you know, we're doing all right. Things are looking good. We're top of the league. We're currently, you know, looking good in the Champions League. Uh, things are going well, guys. So, 
we'll see what games are coming up next and we'll see what should be in the next episode let's have a look at Celtic fixtures so um what's next what's next what's next we've got Dundee and Mullerville in the league you know what I'm just going to play both of them off you know off screen so and then we'll probably come back for the Bayern Munich game unless Rangers have something coming up which is uh, better than you know We've got a game against Partick Fizzle. Partick Fizzle currently second. I mean, it could be considered a big game, but I think we'll just play this offline, you know. I don't... If it was, like, closer to the end of the season, I'd, uh, you know, find it. But, nah, I can see it. We're coming up against a lot of teams that I don't, aren't really big games, not really interested. So what we're going to do is we're going to play... Um, we're going to play up to the Bayern Munich game, and when we return in episode 11, it will be Celtic taking on Bayern Munich. In the Champions League, huge match. Hopefully we can come out on top, but this episode's been decent. We've got a draw against Aberdeen with Rangers. We've got a draw against Man City with Celtic. Things are looking pretty good, guys. So until next time, thanks for watching. Um, you know, Leave a like and a uh, subscription if possible. Comment below what you think of the series. And how do you think it's going? If you're a Rangers fan, Celtic fan, let me know down below which team you support. And um, yeah, until next time, guys. It's been Suscott on 90. Peace.